Today, many of us are reeling from the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. It is important to state unequivocally that we oppose today's decision and believe passionately and fundamentally that women should always have bodily autonomy and the right to choose their own medical care and treatment for themselves, not dictated to by a court. Alongside this, it is also clear that Judaism permits and sometimes requires abortion in protecting the life of the mother. Today's verdict, therefore, is a challenge to the separation of church and state in this country and to our freedom to practice Judaism here. Needless to say, there will be a lot to say about this and to do in response to this in the weeks and months and possibly years ahead. And we will ensure that Temple Shir Tikva is active in the fight to secure rights for women and to overturn today's decision. But today, many of us are probably feeling a whole range of emotions, anger, fear, sadness. Whatever emotion you are feeling, please know that your Temple Shittik, the clergy, is here for you. If you need to talk, don't hesitate to reach out to Cantor Hollis or myself. We're here to talk, we're here to listen, we're here to support you. As we approach Shabbat, we have this opportunity to take a break, to rest. But in many ways, Shabbat is a rest at the end of creation and a rest before we begin recreating in the week that lies ahead. There is a lot of recreation that will need to be done to fix what has been broken. Let's take this time to comfort each other, to support each other, to be there for each other. And as we emerge from Shabbat, please know that over the weeks and months ahead, we will be responding. But for now, know that we're here for you and we wish you all a Shabbat Shalom.